Good morning, Idaho 516 on this Monday morning. Not a bad weekend. We finally made it above the freezing mark. I ran into a lot of people this weekend that were saying, hey, thanks for warming it up a little bit. I'm not responsible for it, but it did feel better too once the sunshine came out. Well, our high was 34 yesterday, and while we will be there again today, hopefully, hopefully, we'll get a little more sunshine, which we know when that beam of light is out there, it's almost like it makes you feel 5 to 10 degrees warmer than those temperatures read. Check out Jordan Valley, though. 40 degrees. I have a good friend that lives up in Lewiston, she was posting pictures of their 50 degree day on the river. So that high pressure is still in control for us. It is keeping the inversion conditions over the Treasure Valley, but it is warming up those higher elevations. And as you get up into northern Idaho, it's above average temperatures that they're looking at up there. 21 degrees right now in Boise, but it really does differ as you get outside of that observation site. 11 degrees in, in Mountain Home, and then 27 degrees right now in Twin Falls, with enough of that fog that's actually keeping some of our surface heating just sucked in in those uh, valley locations. Now, the fog is the big headline for today. The inversion not helping that situation, and that's going to keep the fog from actually burning off or mixing back out into the atmosphere. It's going to keep it from doing that as quickly as we'd like it to. So the dense fog advisory is in effect until 11 a.m. today. Now, we are expecting mostly sunny skies for today, but again, that high pressure, that sinking air is actually just trapping in the cool pool of air right here in the valley. So while we're seeing temperatures that are in the mid 30s, the mountains getting up into the low 40s today. Watching for this low pressure center that actually arrives Wednesday night into early Thursday, it could bring some brief rain snow mix here to the valley. No accumulation expected, but hopefully, hopefully, that's the system we're looking for to knock out the inversion conditions. For today's highs, low to mid 30s throughout the Treasure Valley. Again, watch out for that fog for the next few mornings because with all the melting that's happening in the afternoon, it provides enough. Enough moisture in our atmosphere to bring us that patchy fog. Even in the mountain areas, even in the Magic Valley, we'll take it up to the West Central and Boise Mountains. Check out some of these temperatures: 46 degrees for a high in Riggins today, 40 degrees for Garden Valley, and 41 for Idaho City. You can see that that inversion's in place when those higher elevations are warmer than what we're seeing here in the valley. So if you want to warm up, you got to go up, and that's also where you'll get above our stagnant air that we have here hanging out in the valley as well. Here's that low. Pressure center I was talking about, storm system that's very quick moving. Wednesday night into early Thursday could bring some snow showers, no accumulation expected, and hopefully milder temperatures.